Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Welcome to part two of Tropical Bonsai Updates. This is a series where I'm taking each one of my tropical trees, putting it on the turntable here, and giving it a spa day, giving it a good watering, fertilization, and any pruning or cleanup work that the tree requires. The first trees for today are my acacia trees. In fall, they kind of started losing all their leaves and then I moved them down into the basement in cold storage and they lost the remainder of their leaves. Over the winter, I gave all the trees a pruning and then I brought them up into the plant room here where they, they're warming up and they began to green up once again. Most of the trees have come back really nicely, but there's some like this one here. It's a fairly tall tree and the only shoot coming out on it is down low on the trunk here. The top of it still looks alive, so maybe it'll come out in the future. I'm not sure. Over here on this other fairly large tree, again, the same thing is happening. I've got multiple shoots down at the base of the tree, but there's nothing higher up on the tree. I have some trees that have no new shoots on them at all, like this one here. There's a thin one over here that has no new growth on it at all. But you know, right beside it, there's another thinner one that has all kinds of good growth up top. So I don't know if it's just a matter of time if they will come out or if they've died back. I do have two varieties of acacia trees in this forest. I have sweet thorn and I have fever trees. The fever trees have the lighter colored trunks and the sweet thorns have the darker kind of bark on them. But yeah, I think it might be just a matter of waiting because there's new shoots coming out on some of these other trees. It's possible, you know, I've lost some of the tops on them, but I think generally all the trees will survive. I don't see any trunks that are shriveled up or anything. So it may be just a, a matter of waiting. So today I've got a weed in here I can pull out. I won't do any pruning until, you know, everything's come out into leaf and I know what's alive and what may be dead. I think today I'll just give them a good watering with some fertilizer in the water and put them back on the bench. All right, here I go with the watering. So I just have a small amount of 20-20-20 powdered fertilizer mixed in with the water. About a pinch, like a good pinch. And that's about it. So it's a very, very dilute mixture. But then I fertilize and water, you know, pretty well daily if the sun's out. Sometimes, like lately, we've had quite a few sunny days in a row and I've had to water in the morning and then again at nighttime. But if it's cloudy out, you don't have to water as much. So it all depends on the weather. My next update is my Princess Earrings Bonsai. So this tree had kind of a bit of a canopy in fall. And then, you know, it started to lose its leaves when it got cooler out. And, which I hear is quite normal. And then uh, I had it down in the basement, kind of chilling. And then I brought it up and it started to grow again. I did have a shoot up higher, but it kind of came out green and then it died back. I've got some really strong shoots down here. There is one on this side that kind of looks like it's dying off, but there is still a bud there. So I, I don't know. Um, it looks like the tree will live, but it's not very successful as a bonsai. Um, maybe, maybe I've got to keep it warmer. I don't know. I'll have to look into it um, to see what kind of native temperature ranges they they see in nature so yeah a bit more research and maybe I'll kind of get the care locked down for this tree but at the present moment this isn't a very good result it's recoverable I mean you can cut off if this top is dead you can start a new leader from down below and you know you'll get better trunk taper and movement and it'll make a better bonsai in the end but uh it, it would have been nice to continue growing the canopy. I got all these nice flowers on it last year, which turned to seed pods. I'm not sure if there's mature seeds in the seed pods, but I will, I will try planting them. There's no harm in planting them this spring. 
Uh, the tree did survive its root pruning, its first root pruning. It, again, that kind of set it back. Um, it didn't like the root pruning, but it did survive, and I did get a, a much improved root system on it. So maybe it's just a matter of, you know, continue with the root pruning, trying to grow a strong tree. Uh, sometimes, you know, it takes a while to get a good fine fibrous root system that'll support a good canopy on a tree. So I will keep going. I'll research it and I'll uh, try and improve the care and methods for my princess earrings bonsai. The next update for today is my small pink pixie bougainvillea cuttings. They were growing really well over the summer and then towards fall their health started to decline and I'm not sure if it was just bad watering in the small pot or if they weren't getting the right conditions. Um, I had them in the greenhouse where you know it was quite humid so the soil didn't dry out very quickly in the sun. And I don't know, they, they just started to decline in health and I was hoping, maybe it was the temperatures too, I had them out in some fairly cool temperatures. It's possible they got, you know, frost on them too. It, it's quite possible. I did have them out in the greenhouse when it was snowing outside while I was finishing the plant room, so. I don't know. Um, anyway, they are not living anymore is the what it comes down to, which is too bad because I really liked both the pot and the, the trees. So I'm kind of sad to see those go. Uh, they were just sort of starting to develop nicely. But we'll try again. I'll have to take some more Pink Pixie Bougainvillea cuttings and grow them and try and get more of these small, really small trees underway. The next update for today is my largest of the donated lemon trees. I uh, root pruned and repotted this tree into a new pot. I gave it a really hard pruning up top here, cutting off this leader, doing a Hail Mary cut. There is no growth at all on this section of it, reducing the height down. And I just waited and the tree is recovering nicely now. You can see all the new shoots coming in here. And yeah, so that was a success, that operation. Uh, this tree has a lot of development to go on it, but uh, that was a good step forward for the tree. In this shot, you can see the new growth up here is kind of wrinkly. It doesn't have a lot of vigor. And I, I think that's because the roots are forming. I think all these shoots came from the vigor that was within the tree. And now the new roots are starting to form and it's starting to recover and the new leaves are a nicer shape. So I think it's just a matter of time. I think that operation, drastic pruning and repotting was kind of a borderline operation for the tree. It, it survived, but it struggled a bit in its survival. Some of the branches on the tree that I didn't prune as heavily over here have grown quite vigorously. And I could probably do a little pruning to those today, just kind of knocking the length of the branches back, trying to get a little more subdividing and, you know, encouraging the vigor and the rest of the tree to kind of catch up with this side of the tree. So I'll do that. I'll get out my pruners and I'll just prune back some of these new shoots to the first set of leaves. Like that. I think that's good. I think that's got it pruned up so it's ready to grow again. Get more subdividing, a little more branch density. Yeah, so we'll, we'll give this one a good watering also. All right, here I go with the water and fertilizer. So hopefully there's a good set of roots growing in at the base of this tree. I know I did a good root pruning on it, so I think it'll be a big step forward for this tree, getting those roots sorted out. Hopefully get some really nice surface roots forming under this soil here. I'm pretty sure I piled the soil up a little higher than I needed to, just so I can let those roots grow. And I think we'll get some nice root flare at the base of this tree. Yeah, I can already see it forming there. It's looking really good. 
yeah so it's getting a a nice a nice trunk on this tree there's a little spider up there another one up there they're doing a good job of keeping this tree insect free so that's good okay that can go back on the bench now my next update is my cityscape penjing landscape with my chinese buildings let's fly in and see how it's doing so let's start in this corner here's a tree that i cut back fairly severely at the top quite a reduction and you can see on the tree there's all kinds of new branches coming off of it so it's really filling out nicely i think you know in another month it's going to look really cool i think you'll see quite a nice canopy on that tree in the corner there uh here's an exciting development remember those clay kind of clay bricks i used well they get patina on them quite nicely you can see the moss and algae growing on them they look really good i like that and you could clean it off if you wanted but uh i think it gives a real kind of natural look and you can see it all along there's my pathway you can see how it's greened up looking really cool you can see the surface roots coming from this ficus tree growing across the surface of the soil here so that's kind of exciting and you can see it following the crack at the front here along the edge of the pot in between the clay bricks and the edge of the pot really cool so that corner tree is doing very well it's got a lot of new growth coming up top here everything's looking good there's new buds coming out everywhere on it and again i think this landscape's really going to change in the next month or so uh, as all these trees begin filling out with their new growth i can then take off these older larger leaves like this one which is huge replace them with smaller leaves and make the whole landscape look more miniature i did add that horse to the side here and i really like that it's about the right size and scale ah, just a whimsical element to the landscape my little japanese garden or chinese garden down there with the bridge i like that um the cuttings at the back let's go around the back here so here's the tree that's growing along the side of the house and again that had a fairly severe chop at the top and the branches and it's leafing out all over now so it's really really looking good a around the back here this is where i planted a lot of cuttings this was one of the original trees at the back and you can see the root going across the surface of the soil here yeah the roots are really going wild here's a cutting that didn't make it all the leaves fell off so i can I can pull that one out yeah no roots on it at all so that one didn't make it this is a weed growing up here i'm going to pull that out there's some more roots going across the surface of the soil there um there's a couple this was a cutting there's a weed there this was a cutting and you can see it's leafing out it's doing well um this cutting leafed out the older leaves are dying off on it and it looks kind of sickly i don't know if it'll make it this other cutting here looks really healthy the leaves are green the new ones it's got all kinds of new green growth on it so that cutting's made it so i've got two out of my two out of my four cuttings that look like they did well now let's go back here and look at some more trees so the other tree that's growing beside the house here it's getting all kinds of new branches up top it's looking good that'll fill in quite nicely the one behind it is doing the same thing lots of new branches coming in getting a canopy the trees in the front garden here they're doing quite well no complaints they're all growing really well getting all kinds of new branches it'll be really fun developing those and the small one back here beside the smaller house also doing really well yeah and the moss is greening up nicely there's some areas here that i guess it doesn't get a lot of light that they're not the moss is kind of staying dark but generally you know the moss is spreading growing everything's greening up in the landscape 
So it's kind of fun. Um, this whole landscape looked kind of barren when I was, you know, done all the planting. It was just like a bunch of how a couple of houses with some sticks around it. And now it's starting to grow, look more natural. And I think that'll continue in the future. Uh, with some careful pruning of these trees, I think we'll get a, a real sense of a little miniature village. I think it'll be fun to explore, to look at and explore with your eyes. All the garden centers are open in this area now, so I can search around for little plants to put out front to make these gardens a little nicer. Maybe some little flowering plants or something. I'm trying to keep it all in scale with the buildings. But... Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything much more to do to it today. Uh, it's watered well. I watered it this morning. I misted it. Um, everything's doing well on it. I, I did a bit of weed cleanup there and cleaned up some of the dead leaves. So I can go back on the bench now and we can get out the next tree. Next up is my grapefruit tree. I can still remember back that day at work where I was eating a grapefruit and I picked out some seeds from the, uh, the fruit and on one of the seeds, there was a little root sticking out. So I stuck it in a pot at work. And this is the tree many, many years later. Uh, in the last video, I gave it a severe pruning on this branch, sort of a Hail Mary cut. I didn't get much develop up top, but I did get a new shoot coming from the base there. So I'll, re I'll be replacing this really thick branch with a thinner one here. I did a lot of pruning up top, shortening the height of the tree down. Um, and it, it's growing in really nicely. Um, yeah, it's it's doing quite well. It looks really healthy. I've got to get a, a better pot for this. And I'm thinking sort of one of those square sort of semi-cascade pots. I think I need this part of the tree to kind of be overhanging the edge of the pot. So it looks like it's growing on the side of a hill or something. There's that sunshine. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, so... I, I think aesthetically this tree needs a lot of work to get the right size pot for it and the right shape of pot and the right kind of planting. But uh, developmental wise, it's coming along. It's got a nice basic branch structure. Lots more work to go on it in the future, but uh, it's a good start. The roots had a bit of damage from squirrels chewing on them, but they're starting to heal over nicely. Hopefully it'll add to the character of the root base someday. I'll, uh, think back and laugh about it but <laughs> I wasn't too happy to see that on my nice my nice roots that I developed however things like that happen so yeah that's the root system yeah I think that'll look really good in the right pot someday next up is another one of the donated lemon trees this is the one that I had this big y-shaped root I cut the one root off of it planted it as a semi-cascade and I, I was developing this branch out here and a crown here in the middle. I haven't had any new growth on this branch yet. It, it looks fairly weak. Um, a lot of people have suggested tilting that up. So it's more vertical and get more strength. So I may do that as I'm growing it. Um, I did get a lot of new growth on the apex here. And I pinched it back to take some of that vigor out. Um... I could reduce, you know, the leaves at the top here just to take some of that leaf mass off so they're not quite as vigorous at the apex here. I don't want the apex becoming too dominant. I don't want this leaf shading out this side of the, uh, you know, I don't want anything blocking the sun getting to my cascading branch. So I'm just taking out some of these really large leaves where they're blocking other branches and the rest can stay. So the back of the tree, I took a big, huge cut out of it. There was a kind of a big lump there. Um, I can see it starting to heal over at the edges. That'll take quite a while and a lot of growth out, you know, this end of the trunk before that heals over, but it'll get there someday. It may just leave a nice, interesting wound someday as it starts to callus and roll over. Um, but someday it will heal over completely, um, especially if I allow this to grow. So yeah, so I think it's 
quite an interesting looking tree. I'll give it a watering. And just lift my rock up here. That should do it. And back on the bench it goes. The next update is my saber leaf ficus. I uh, gave it a, a really hard pruning, chopping all the trunks back, and it's growing in really nicely. So I, I'm really pleased with the results. It kind of made the trunks look a little thicker, starting to get a canopy up top. Uh, yeah, it's starting to look like a miniature tree, I think, for the maybe, you know, the first time in its, its life. It's always just looked like a tall stick before. The roots are developing really nicely. Yeah, so everything's going well on it. Uh, it's a fairly large leaf bonsai, but I like that. I, I think it's kind of unique having these long saber leaf leaves on it. So makes it kind of special. Here's a shot of the roots. So you can kind of see them from the front there. The roots out the back, they're not too bad. I've done a lot of corrective work. I took a huge root off there at one time. I split a root here. There was a cross one, I think, fused to it. Uh, some new roots growing across the surface here, which are quite amazing. Yeah, th this tree certainly likes to grow roots. I'll give the tree a good watering and then get it back on the bench. Give it its spa day today, where it gets pampered a little. And that should do it. Here's a look at the top of the tree. So it's getting a canopy up there. Next up is a bougainvillea, and I was actually trying to grow this tree straight. The tree didn't want to grow straight. It, it just naturally bent around, and I did as much pruning as I could to try and get it to grow straight. There was a, a branch that came out and another one here. I'm trying to keep it upright, but it just wants to twist all over the place, which gives it a really nice look. I think it, uh, it's got a nice form to it. So... It can use a watering. I could I notice the soil's a little dry, but other than that, it's just just going to grow for the next while. All right, here I go with the water. A little dry, so we'll let that soak in really well. Let that soak in and then I'll water it again. There we go until it's coming out the drainage hole. These bottle cap watering nozzles, you can find them online. Just type in bottle cap watering system and you'll see where to buy them. There's lots of places that sell them now. Okay, that's coming out the drainage hole now, so that's thoroughly watered. It'll be nice to see this tree flowering once again in the summer. They just look beautiful when they're in flower. The next tree is also a bougainvillea, and this is a cutting off Julian's bougainvillea, the one that gets the really pale kind of purplish pink flowers. Really nice flowers on it. Um, it's doing quite well. I, I thought I planted it more upright last time I repotted it. it just seems to want to grow on a slant, this, this tree. It looks like I lost a branch up front here. Everything else looks good on it. I do have some sad news about Julian's Bougainvillea bonsai. I'll show you that. Here's a look at Julian's Bougainvillea. I brought it in from the greenhouse and it still had green leaves on it. And I thought, okay, it's doing well. I put it in the cool basement and it started to lose its leaves. And I thought, well, some of my other bougainvilleas were too. I, I didn't really worry about it too much. And then I brought them all back up into the plant room to warm them up and get them growing again. And all the other bougainvilleas recovered, except this one never did. It never leafed out. I kept watering it. I gave it the best of care and it just never came back. 
So I'm afraid, I'm quite certain it's dead. I, I'm not giving up on it yet, but it shows no signs of life, no new buds. Yeah, it doesn't look good for it. So I'll have to give him the cutting that's taken from this tree and that'll be his new bougainvillea. Next up is my lemon bonsai, the one that flowered and it's growing a lemon on it. So let's go in and have a look at the lemon today. Here's a look at the lemon now. It's getting larger each day. It started off as a little tiny thing. Eh, it's probably grown about four times its original size. It's still got a long ways to go before it ripens up to be to become a lemon, but hopefully it'll make it there. Hopefully it won't get, you know, it won't fall off the tree or anything. The root base on the lemon tree is doing really well. It's looking good. It's getting getting more radial all the time. Every time I repot it, it gets a little better. I'll give the lemon tree a nice watering and fertilizer here to keep it growing nicely into the future. The leaves are quite large on it because it doesn't have a lot of branching at the moment. But it's got an interesting trunk and I'm, I've enjoyed growing it from a young lemon tree to something that's beginning to look like a bonsai. Okay, that's good. It's running out the drainage holes now. So my lemon tree can go back on the bench. Next up is my Ficus Elastica, or Indian rubber plant. I've grown a whole bunch of cuttings together at the base to create a clump style. And as they grow, they'll fuse together and create kind of a single base to the tree. So they're getting a lot of new shoots coming in on them now. Some of the shoots are growing really well, the ones I didn't prune. Yeah, everything's looking really nice and healthy on it. So these trees can get really nice root systems, just like, you know, any other ficus tree. You can get all these nice aerial roots and get this really fantastic buttress root base to them. So as these roots develop, we'll raise the tree up and expose some of those surface roots. It'll be quite interesting. Today, I'm just going to give the tree a good watering with some fertilizer. I've got a few aloe pups growing in here. Those are off my giant aloe bonsai, and they're doing really well. All right, here I go with the water now. Yeah, it'll be exciting to see how this looks after the end of the summer. I think it'll grow a lot. The trunks will thicken up. Should look pretty good. And then I'll cut it back again and just keep repeating that process, getting more and more branching. And eventually I'll get this big canopy on it and there'll be aerial roots that'll drop down. It'll look really cool, I think. Next up is my forest of ficus elasticas. They're doing really well also. I don't see any problems with them. Um, there's a shoot here that could maybe be pruned. It's getting a little long. The rest seem quite balanced. Yeah, so I'll cut that tip off there. All right, here I go. I've got two leaves that are fanning outwards here. So if I prune just above there, I'll get two branches growing in more horizontally. So I think that's what I want. So I'll take this shoot off from the top here, like that. Everything else looks good. It's growing in nice and compact, getting some nice small leaves on it. Everything's growing well. So I'll just give it a watering with fertilizer and put it back on the bench. Each one of these trees has a playlist on the channel. If you go to the channel main page, there's a playlist tab and you can click on the playlist tab and then find the tree in the playlist. There's over a hundred of them. So you'll have to search for the right tree, click on that and then you can watch all the progression videos of each tree or forest. Right back from when I first started the channel. So. Some of them are, you know, eight years in the making. And that's been my goal for the channel is to hopefully someday these will all be nice looking bonsai and you can go back and see how they were started and all the work I did to them to get them to that stage. Okay, that's coming out the drainage holes now. The last update for today is my ficus religiosa, my little tiny one. 
that is in the pot that Gary sent me. This tree is over 20 years old and it's just this high. So um, that one leaf is kind of hanging <laughs> right down blocking the entire trunk. I'm going to remove that. The tree looks plenty vigorous so that comes off. There's also a, a leaf facing inwards here. I'm going to remove that. So all the leaves are kind of fanning outwards. I can clean up that stub there, this pruning stub here. So I'll do that. Just to make it flow a little nicer. And I'm going to remove that leaf that's facing inwards here. Again, just to clean it up a bit. I just noticed there's some aphids on it. On the back of this leaf, I don't know if you can see the small dots there. There's a close up of that leaf and you can see the aphids there. So that's gonna have to get sprayed with a bit of soap and water. So here I go. The aphids don't like soap and water. I'll spray the rest of the tree just as a preventative. This tree is getting a shampoo on its spa day. Haircut, shampoo, the works. Okay, so that's covered in foam. That'll kill any aphids on the leaves. And this soap mixture is just liquid dish soap. And I mix it one part dish soap to 40 parts water, shake it up and spray it on your tree. Let it sit for a few minutes and then rinse it off. Make sure you rinse your soil out well too. You don't want soapy water in your soil. It may kill the fine root hairs. Yeah, it looks like there's a new shoot coming out the back here too. And maybe one here. Yeah, so a nice little, nice little tree. It's got a lot of movement in the trunk for such a small tree and it's getting some nice bark on it because of its old age. All right, it's sat for a few minutes. I'll rinse it off now just with rainwater. Flush out the flush out the soil here. Get rid of any soap that's in it. I'll give the tree a good thorough watering before I put it back on the bench just to get some fertilizer in the pot. Let that soak in. Repeat it a couple of times. Make sure everything's thoroughly soaked in here. I think this tree will need a repotting this summer also. It's been quite a while since I've repotted it. And that should do it. That should keep the tree happy for quite a while. I'll have lots more tropical tree updates coming in part three of this series. But that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.